My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 106 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at integration by parts. And this is the last topic under integration. If you are going to do anything under integration at all, it will basically be revision. And like I told you, this may not be a part or topic Jam expects you to focus on. However, you will not regret learning integration by parts. And it will be so, so helpful to those who will take mathematics in school. It doesn't mean you are studying mathematics. If you are in physical science at all or in engineering, you are going to do mathematics in 100 level. And this is a topic you must do under mathematics in 100 level. Integration by parts. Look at this. In differentiation, if I say differentiate s sine s, you will say differentiate s keeps an s constant plus differentiate sine s keep s constant. You differentiate one, keep the other one constant, uh, constant plus you keep one constant, differentiate the other one. That is product rule. Once you have product, you use the product rule. However, when it comes to integration, if you are integrating product this time this or this time this, we don't use product rule because we are not dealing with differentiation. We use an equivalent of product rule and that equivalent is referred to as integration by parts. Anytime you are given product to integrate, you simply apply the integration by part formula. Now, this is what the integration by part formula says. If you are given the integral of u dv ds, this is the same thing as uv minus the integral of v dv ds. Look at this. This place is integrate s exponential s. That is product. And here it says integrate s sine s. This is product. In this question we are given, or in this question, we already have here. That is integral of u dv over s. For every product you are asked to integrate, you already have your u in the question, and you already have dv over ds in the question. Now, a question comes to mind. How do you know u, and how do you know dv ds? This is the order of getting u. If you are given a function, if there is log inside log something, then log will be your u, while the other thing in the product or the other part of the product will be your dv over ds. If you are given inverse log, that is cos, cos inverse, sine inverse, and tan inverse, it should be your u, while the other uh, function present will be your uh, dv over ds. But if a situation where you have logarithm and inverse log, logarithm should come first. This is the order of power. Now, if you have algebraic function and trigonometric function, algebraic function is ahead of trigonometric function. So your u should be the algebraic function. Algebraic function is simply in terms of f. If you have f, f squared, f to the power of 3, so anything having s, or 2s or whatever. All these are your algebraic function. A situation where you have algebraic function and trigonometric function being sine, cos, and tan, the algebraic function comes before trigonometric function. So your u will be the algebraic function. Look at this. This is algebraic function and trigonometric function. So your u here will be s, while your dv dx will be sine s. And 
exponential function comes after trigonometric function. If you have trig and exponential, your u should be the trigonometric function, while exponential should be the v over the s. Now, a situation where you have algebraic function and exponential function, algebraic function is ahead of exponential function. So your u should be the algebraic function. In summary, if you are given integration by parts, it is usually a product. You can have algebraic, this is exponential, this is trigonometric, and you can have logarithm function. If you have all these and you are wondering, what should I make u and what should I make the v the s? Because from the question you are given, you must know your u and you must know your dv the s. So u should be log. If there is no log, then inverse log. If there is no inverse log, then algebraic function, then trig and exponential. In most cases, the functions will be given are algebraic function, trig and exponential. That is 3, 4, and 5. So your u will likely be s in most of the questions you come across. S something, or s, s square, or whatever. That will likely be your u in most cases. And if you are given trigonometric function and exponential function, your u will be trig. So take note of this order of getting this is algebraic function and this is exponential function. Algebraic function will carry u because it comes before exponential function in the order of u. So u is equals to s. Why dv ds will be the other one, which is exponential s. Exponential s. Now, after getting your u. Differentiate your u and after getting your dv ds, this has already been differentiated. So to get your v, you integrate dv ds. This is what I'm saying. In integration by part, first of all, identify your u. After that, identify the second one, and that will be your dv over ds. Then differentiate your u to have the u over ds. When you differentiate u, which is s, you get one. Now, the one that you are already given in dv ds, integrate it. Because they've already differentiated this. To get a function that has been differentiated, you integrate. So when you integrate dv over ds, you are going to get v. And that will simply be exponential s. When you integrate exponential s, you are going to get exponential s. This is a standard integral. It does not change. If you have all this, the food is absolutely ready. Very simple. You come here and say, integral of u s dv ds, that is exponential s, ds is equals u is s, v is exponential s, minus integral of v, that is exponential s, du ds that is du ds is 1 times 1 ds that is it so this part is equals this question you are given to have s exponential s minus integral of exponential s times 1 that is exponential s ds so this is equals s exponential s minus when you integrate exponential s, it will still be exponential s. It does not change. So everything here is exponential s when you integrate. So you add plus c because this is an indefinite integral. No limit, no boundary. From here, that is the final answer. You can choose to simplify. There is exponential s here and exponential s here. You bring out one of the exponential s and you say s minus 1. This is just a factorized version. If you expand there, you are going to get this s exponential s minus exponential s. That is the answer. So, so simple and so, so easy. We are asked to integrate s sin s ds. Now, I told you that for every integration by part, you must already have your u and dv ds in the question. This is as a algebraic function and trigonometric function. So algebraic function will be your u because it comes after before trigonometric function. So what do we do? 
U is equals A. And the second one will definitely be your DV to S. No need to T, no cap. So sign S is DV to S. After getting these two, the one that is alone, that is U, differentiate U. The other one, integrate. Chicken up. Differentiating u, we have u prime, and that is the same thing as d u over d a, and this is 1. Here, when you integrate d v over d a, you are going to get d. And when you differentiate d, you are going to get d v d a. So this is equals. When you integrate sine s, you will get minus cos s. So, minus cos s. From here, food is ready. We substitute into our formula. The formula says the integral of u, that is s, divide the s, sin s, the s is equal. If you look at it, this is the question. So here is equal to u, which is s, times v. What is v? V is minus cos s. So s times minus cos s minus this minus integral of v what is v minus cos s minus cos s times du ds what is du ds du ds is one so times one ds food is ready this is the same thing as s times minus cos s that is minus s cos s minus this is Okay, minus minus cos s times one is the same thing as minus cos s ds. And this is minus s cos s minus. When you integrate cos s, you get sin s. If you integrate minus cos s, you get minus sin s. So this is minus that we are integrating now. Minus minus sine s no need for the s because we've already integrated so minus cos s when you integrate you get minus and s and minus times minus is plus this is therefore minus s cos s minus times minus is plus sine s plus c that is your answer it is basically a very very interesting part of mathematics anyhow it comes know how to get your u know how to get your dvds substitute into the formula that's fine and in some cases after integrating here you arrive at another product let's say something like s and s or s cos s simply keep this other part we've gotten then apply integration by part here again and add all your answer it is very very simple so with this we come to the end of this episode i hope you found this interesting feel free to get the flash learners jump application and begin to practice now. Visit flashlearners.com for various versions of the app and for various resources. You see the testimonies. A lot of persons have gotten the app, they follow the series, and they do very, very well in the jam. No jokes. So, see you in the next episode where we shall be looking at statistics. <laughs>